Hello, children. I am Rukshan Ferreira, musician, composer, and I'm so excited to read to you the snail's wonderful journey by author and illustrator Anura Kirti Gamage. Are you ready? Cheta, the snail, wants to take a trip on the highway. He sees a bus coming quickly towards him. The bus stops nearby. Oh, there is a gecko on the bus. The bus slows down to let passengers on and off. When gecko sees Cheta, he isn't happy. This bus is mine, he says. Well, the road is mine, says Cheta. They both laugh. I want to ride on the bus like you, says Cheta. Then come to this stop early tomorrow morning, says Gecko. Cheta arrives early the next morning, but not early enough. He misses the bus. Oh, why haven't they made a watch for a snail? Cheta moans. Cheta tries again the next morning, but this bus never comes. Oh, the bus must have broken down, moans Cheta. How unlucky I am. I'm not going home tonight, Cheta thinks to himself. I will stay right here and wait for the bus. The next morning, there's a long queue of people waiting for the bus. Cheta, the snail, manages to get on, but he is so small compared to all the people's feet that Gecko cannot see him. Oh, Cheta still hasn't come, thinks Gecko sadly. Cheta crawls to the windowsill. He is thrilled to see trees, houses, and mountains passing by speedily. The bus is so fast. Riding a bus is like floating through the sky, thinks Cheta happily. I never imagine an experience like this, sighs Cheta. This time, Gecko hears him. Gecko is so happy to see his fellow traveler. In the evening, the bus returns to Cheta's stop. Gecko gets off with his new friend. What a wonderful journey we had today, says Cheta. I want to fly like that again. My friend, there are so many different buses, says Gecko. Our adventures will be endless. I hope you enjoyed the story. Bye-bye. These stories are brought to you by Room to Read, who believe that world change starts with educated children. Also brought to you by Pulse.